Well, let's take some questions from the fans now. Uh, the first one comes in on Instagram from CCFC Away Days. If you could both pick one ground to score at, which would it be and why? I'd go probably Old Trafford, obviously, because I'm from Manchester, so I'm um, the Old Trafford for me. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say Anfield, just because of all the history there. and. You know, it's um, a great place to play and the atmosphere is always brilliant there, so um, just to score there would be, would be good. Yeah. Our next question comes from Bluebird1405, asking, is it easier when the squad is as small as it is to have a good togetherness in the dressing room and around the club with the manager and the staff? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, uh, all the lads get on. Um, it's, a, it's a tight group and I think maybe the manager might be bringing players in in the summer, you don't know, but um, we're a tight group and we're picking up results and I think it's showing that we've, we've got to together now, yeah. At this point of the season then, when you obviously know that the manager will be bringing in players and perhaps players will be leaving in the summer, like all, all the guys who come in on the city always talk about how close-knit the group is. Is it slightly unnerving for you, knowing that there'll be different characters coming in and perhaps some of the stronger characters could leave? No, not really. It's, it's always part of football. Um, you know, players come and go um, every season. Um, but like Joe said, we've got a really good group, and it's you know the lads make it easy for the you know the new lads to settle in. Um, so whoever comes in and whoever goes out, obviously um, it, it'll be you know an easy transition because the lads are so tight. If you had to eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Um, burgers. Burgers. I love Never. A good burger, yeah. What, every day, morning, lunch, dinner, a burger for the rest of your life? Burger, yeah. Oh. Um, I've got a sweet too, so probably chocolate, yeah. Is you? Chocolate, yeah. Favourite place for a burger? At the moment, it used to be Burger and Lobster, but that's closed down now. Mm. I had a Five Guys the other day, that was decent. Yeah. Small got though. Beef. Got, nice. got beef, is got beef is good. Got beef is very yeah. good. Probably got beef, yeah. Joe, favourite chocolate bar? Um, Galaxy Caramel. Yeah. Our next question <laughs> comes from Marnie Gingle. Um, she's asking, do you think more girls should play football? Which is relevant, given that it was International Women's Day yesterday. Do you think it's something that more girls should be encouraged towards? Yeah, definitely. Um, I actually went down to um, the girls' soccer, soccer camp um, down in half term and I was, I was amazed at how many, how many girls were there from, you know, right from, I think, primary school age up into secondary school. And, you know, I was going down there thinking maybe there'd be 10, 15, and you know, I think there was about 50 girls down there on, on, on the day, um, which is encouraging to see. And I think, this, you know, women's soccer and girls' soccer is getting, as they say, as they call it, football over here. Um, but obviously it's, come, it's quite big in America, isn't it? So um, it's getting a lot bigger, and um, there's a lot more interest in it now, I think. Is it the Women's UA, Champions League yeah, final? Yeah, the Champions League here, finals yeah. down here. So, you know, that'd be good for Cardiff as well. And um, you know, I think there'd be a, a sellout, do you think? I think they're anticipating a big crowd, yeah. Yeah, Hopefully so you can just see how, how, how big, you know, the, the game, you know, the, the women's game is growing and, you know, it's good to see. Our next question is for you again, Pilks. Uh, Greg Young is asking, what's been your favourite goal that you've scored for us during your time here? For us? Um, probably Bristol, yeah. Bristol this season, you know, scoring the winner in the last minute. Um, in the derby, so yeah, I'd probably say that one. Bristol. And our last question comes from CCFC Aaron. How does Neil Warnock compare to other managers you've played for? Is he one of the best? Yeah, he's up there, yeah. Obviously, his style's different. Um, it's not one, not one that I've come across before, but um, it's working at the minute, and yeah, we're reaping the rewards from it, yeah, definitely. Can you expand on his style? What is so different about um, it? I think we're just more organised as a team, definitely. Um, also, a bit of no-nonsense football, as you seen the other night. We um, we had to get a result there, obviously losing against QPR. We didn't want to lose two on, two on the bounce, and um, it was important that we got a result there, and, and we did our job and got a point. Is that sort of down to the gaffer's no-nonsense attitude as well? Yeah, probably that's how he is. You know, in, he, in his Stay life, I'm sure him. he's like that as well, um, away from football. so. Um, but, you know, that's how he, he wants the lads to play, you know, taking no chances at the back and stuff like that and trying to be ruthless when you get chances. 